Hello, Anders here, and today I'm going to unbox this uh, Ultra Sonic Cleaner. Instruction manual. So yeah, I think the first part that I don't like about this cleaner is that uh, the cable is non-detachable. So every time I finish using it, then I need to remove the plug and bring the whole thing and pour out the water. And inside it, we have uh, this uh, basket. Basket for uh, loose item. And then this one is to hold uh, watches. I got this from Taobao, so the usual China two prong plug. Let's plug it in. First up, I will try clean some makeup brushes. This uh, this is the new brush, and these are used. We will pour in uh, 600 ml of water until the max line. Now let's put in the brush. So this is uh, before. Uh, it's floating. So just press the ultrasonic button, 1004, and then press start. So it's counting down. This one we'll try with uh, 3 minutes, 180 seconds. Okay, 180 seconds has passed and let's open it up and see. So, uh, I think it's about the same. Nothing much has changed. Yep, <laughs> nothing much has changed so, okay. But we can see some uh, very small particle inside. Now this is the hassle part because uh, it's a single body design and you can't unplug the power cable. So I need to unplug it, the whole thing from the power and then throw out the water before I start my next clean. So for the next one, we'll be cleaning my glass, my old glass. So as you can see, the inside there's already some mold on both sides. Let's see how well it clean the glass. This time I'll be adding some cleaning fluid. You can put like two drops of this. Try cleaning with the lip off. Okay, 180 seconds has passed. Let's uh, give you a wipe. can still see the the part here is still not clean but because it's a uh, very deep inside I don't think it will be easy to clean maybe I can try uh, cleaning it a few more times maybe it will come out but uh, yeah for the the gap the small gap between the frame and the glass uh, is pretty clean uh, it's pretty clean here and if you can see the the water is kind of muddy, yeah. So I think it kind of works out for glass. Now I have to unplug, pour the water, and start the next cleaning. For the next test, I'm going to put Permatex Dielectric Grease on this air pick and see can it clean greases.
For small items like this, I don't think we need a lot of water, just a little bit. Enough to cover the air pick. Ready? Okay, here we go. Okay, we are done. Uh, as you can see, right, I think there's some grease coming off from the ear pick, but I think it's still not clean enough. Let's take it out. You can see there's a uh, grease, and here's the ear pick. Can you see? Let me get it to focus. Uh, so I don't think it's uh, clean enough. Yep. There's still quite a big amount of grease. Let's clean this up and now we are trying to clean some overloop switch. This is the switch that is going to be the victim today. This is a uh, Ako Macha Green. A pretty cheap switch that I'll be testing out. Before we try to overloop it, Let's uh, listen to the factory loop switch sound first. This is a sound coming straight out from factory. Now we're going to overloop it. So this is a lightly built from the factory and now I'm going to heavily loop it with some uh, Crytox 205 grid zero. This is like real heavy. <laughs> I think that's is it too much? This is a linear switch. Maybe tactile will be more apparent whether did they clean it. But yeah, uh, this is the like I think the cheapest switch that I have right now. So I'll just go with this. Let's uh, skip the springs as well. Like so, oops, like so. Everything heavily loop. We have the spring. Get it to focus. Heavily loop the spring. Okay, let's uh, reassemble. I think this is uh, heavy enough. There's like no sound at all. This 
is a heavily loop. It sounds about the same, is it? But let's, uh, anyway, let's try to see whether ultrasonic cleaner can clean up the loop. And uh, for this time, I'll try to clean it up with a uh, longer time. So let's go with the longest, which is uh, 600 seconds, 10 minutes. Alright, let's start. Alright, 10 minutes cleaning is done. Let's first look at the springs. Give you the wipe. It's definitely cleaner than before. It's not totally clean. But I think it goes from a over loop to a slight, slightly loop. Let's uh, try to usually usually the the flat surface are pretty clean, but it's only the edge, you know, the edge between uh, the main housing and the railing. So the corner there you will still see some uh, lubricant at the corner but on the flat surface uh, it's pretty clean so yeah mostly that the, this type of surface that is uh, hard to get to it will be quite tough to clean but on the flat surface uh, it did quite well Oh, linear switch is uh, much more forgiving on uh, overloop so yeah I don't think there's uh, a lot of difference if you hear closely I think yeah there's a slight slight different compared to the overloop switch After the first few cleaning with uh, this ultrasonic cleaner, I can say I'm quite pleased with the result. Uh, it definitely did a great job in cleaning my uh, old glasses. Uh, probably I will try to clean it again with a longer time, maybe uh, 10 minutes. Because uh, just now when you see right, uh, when I clean the switches with uh, 600 seconds, it performed uh, quite well. The only thing that uh, I kind of dislike on this uh, particular ultrasonic cleaner is the plug is not uh, detachable. If I were to set it down somewhere like I want to put it there permanently and the power plug is uh, somewhere not easily accessible, then it's kind of hassle. Lah. So because every time I finish cleaning it, I need to unplug from the power socket and then pour the water away unless I take a bucket and pour the water into the bucket and then uh, bring the bucket and pour out the water so uh, there's a lot of uh, ultrasonic cleaner right now on the market and I would definitely recommend getting one that is a uh, is a detachable from the base which I saw from the same company they have this one that uh, the top is removable the container is removable and then there's the base for the power and the controls and uh, if you ask me whether is it recommend to get this ultrasonic cleaner just to clean your over loop switch uh, it depends though uh, see how many batch of over loop switch are you doing if you are just like normal keyboard user and probably you will only have like a 10 or less than that switches that over loop and I think you will just use a 
open it up, use alcohol swab and clean up the extra loop and it's as good, I think even better than using this uh, ultrasonic cleaner but if you are doing a uh, keyboard building service and your client often send you like big batch big batch of oil loop switch or they have uh, they have keyboard that built by other builder that is uh, over loop then yeah that one you can like uh, open up all the switches throw it in and do the like a uh, pre cleaning so you will clean up most of the uh, over loop and then you just give it a simple wipe and your switch will be probably as good as uh, new and uh, that's about it for this video if you like my video please remember to subscribe share and then like my video take care everyone bye